Hi everyone, this is me and in this guide I'm going to show you uh, the changes of patch uh, 4.0.6 uh, for uh, Unholy Death Knight. We'll start with the spec, we'll go uh, to you to the new talent points, uh, yeah. And then I will talk a bit about the new glyph, so what glyphs stay the same. And at the end I will say a bit about uh, gaming and gearing. Uh, first, we showed score strike stays uh, the same. I mean, you still have score, uh, score strike, but the shadow portion is increased, so the shadow damage portion of score strike is a bit higher. So probably we will end up uh, in using score strike more often, because at the moment we only use necrotic strike. But this has to be tested on live. So as soon as we know, I will let you know, or just ask me, and I will see what. Whenever I know more about it, uh, Master of Cool is the same it is now. Unholy might uh, changed from 10% to 5%, uh, so it's a small nerf. But reaping is the same, and mastery will probably make up the the nerf. Mastery now not increases your diseases damage; it increases your shadow damage. So that's kind of nice. I mean, death call is will be pretty nice. Also, probably because of this, Core Strike will be uh, used a bit more often than it is now. Okay, let's start with the Unholy Tree. We put two uh, points in Unholy Commanders now. There is nothing changed. But now is the thing that changed. Uh, Epidemic uh, increases uh, the duration of, of pure diseases. But now, Virulence uh, no longer gives hit. Therefore, it increases your uh, diseases damage for 10% each talent point. So we no longer spec into the duration of the of the diseases. We just spec the 30% more damage on diseases. Desecration hasn't changed. We still want it, but now necrotic strike is affected by desecration. So we definitely spec into it. Uh, we have no need of resilient infection because later we spec into unholy blight. Also, we don't have the two talent points. Where yeah, every talent in the unholy tree is amazing. You normally want to spec everything, but you can't. Mobility is still the same. We want 15% more uh, death call damage, so we spec into it. Runic Corruption, two points into it, and it has changed a little bit. Uh, when you had Runic Corruption up, and it procked another time while you had it up, it just uh, reset the duration to three seconds, so sometimes you, you've lost a few seconds of uh, Runic Corruption. Now, when it procs while it is already up, it just increases the, the buff duration by another 3 seconds, so that's that's nice. Unholy Frenzy, must have. Breaking CCs and probably they will nerf it, but still, even if it never uh, doesn't break CCs anymore, it's a big offensive cooldown. Shadow Infusion stays the same. Whenever you use a Death Curl, it gives you a ghoul and attack power. It just got nerfed a bit, so it's no longer that great, but it's still great. I mean, your ghoul is amazing. <laughs> now here we go. Death Advance. Everyone wants it, everyone cries about it, and we have it. Uh, whenever your uh, Unholy Runes are on cooldown, uh, you're not able to go slower than 100% movement speed. So, let's say you, you're on a target, hit uh, Score Strike or Necrotic Strike two times and then your Unholy Runes are on cooldown, you get an Aura and you can no longer be slower than 100% movement speed. Uh, you still have the Snares on you, but yeah, you just, you were able to cut a bit more or not get peeled that easy. Roots and Novas will still uh, keep you in place, so it's not a full freedom, but it's it's very amazing. It's one of the, in combination with Desecration on Necrotic Strike, it's, it's so amazing. Probably a bit overpowered, but we'll see how it, how it works out on life. It's too early to, to judge about it. Magic Suppression uh, is still three points, uh, but uh, the Runic Regeneration uh, you get while it is up and you take damage was reduced by uh, to a third only. So it's no longer that amazing, but it's still it's still very good. Ratio of Ribbon there, three points, like like it was before. Uh, but uh, it's a percent each point was reduced a bit, so uh, also a small uh, damage nerf. Unholy Blight, we want it. 
protect our uh, diseases once we hit death curl. Anti-magic zones, some people don't want to spec it, but it's an amazing 24k absorb and 75% uh, less uh, magic damage taken while in it for only one talent point and it saved my druid's life so, so many times and even mine. Unholy Presence improved, of course, we wanted 5% more haste, is amazing. Uh, easy to get with two talent points. And now Dark Transformation, our pet is the beast, so we wanted also the interrupt with my, our uh, ghoul leap. It's amazing. Now here comes the point where some spec different. Some put two points in even Plague Bringer, some put one point and one point into Sun Doom. I do one point into, uh, into even Plague uh, Bringer. I do two points in even Plague Bringer and one point in Sudden Doom. The reason therefore is Sudden Doom is now a proc per minute, so it's limited by I don't know how many procs per minute it can be, but it can't be up that often, so I rather take 30% more damage on my diseases. Even with one point, we have still the 8% more damage, ta uh, magic damage taken on the target, but only 50% more. 15% more damage on the diseases. So I go with two even Plague Bringer and one Sudden Doom. And then of course the Gargoyle, big ultimate, insane damage. In Frost there's, there, there's nothing that has changed, so uh, we just put three points into more runic power, two points in more reach, one point in Lichborn, and two points in Endless Winter, so we don't have runic power costs on, on our uh, how is it on our mind freeze? All right, let's head to the glyphs, of course. Also, I can show you uh, the aura. Just where is my necrotic strike? Here, necrotic strike, as you see, now applies desecration. If you see it here, desecration or on the ground. And once I hit Necrotic Strike, we have this Advance buff, so we can't be slowed anymore. That's pretty much it. Okay, let's head to the Glyphs now. As first uh, Prime Glyph, with, you use the Death Curl Glyph. This increases Death Curl damage by 15%. We also use it now. As second Glyph, we use the Scorch Strike one. At the moment, some people uh, use, I mean, pre-patch. Some people, even me, sometimes use uh, Cliff of Icy Touch instead of Scorch Strike because we never use Scorch Strike or really hardly use Scorch Strike. So, uh, yeah, we just went with Icy Touch, but after the patch we will probably use Scorch Strike a bit more often. And the third Glyph, I should use Race Dead now. But for some reason on standard there's definitely decay in it, so just a third glyph we use to raise that glyph. Then let's head to the uh, to the major glyphs, that's what's uh, what's important now. I will use anti-magic shell as the first glyph, it's two seconds more on anti-magic shell. And then the second glyph will be strangulate, two seconds on, on strangulate more is just <laughs> insane, I, I'm missing the words for this. And the new glyph that's coming will be the third glyph. At the moment some people use uh, uh, the death strike glyph, some people use the chains of ice glyph at the moment, but after patch they will definitely use glyph of dark score. This causes your uh, death strike ability to, to always restore at least 15% of the maximum health of you. So, yeah, <laughs> it's just amazing, I mean, this will give us so much more ability, this glyph. And then the minor glyphs aren't that great, I mean, we have resilient grip, we take it for one. Well, sadly, this glyph is, isn't in on the, uh, on the PTR, so I can't test you, uh, show you the testings on, on the target army, sorry for that. I also wrote a GM ticket, but no one is responding to me. So the, the minor glyphs is resilient grip on the one, and death embrace on the second. This will refund you 25, out only 20 runic power if you heal your minion. It no longer refunds your runic power when you heal yourself while lichborn. So keep that in mind. It's no longer that great. That's a bit of lichborn nerf, but that was needed. And the third uh, glyph we take the horn of winter. Then to the gear and specking, there's not much to say. We still spec the same. Uh, we 
still take the same gear like now. We we go for the for the hit first and try to get our spell penetration, and then we we gam for resilience and strength, and we ref, uh, we reforge to haste. So, if you want any more information about the talent, uh, I didn't go into it or about the gamming or, or glyphs in a more detailed way, just watch my old uh, DK Unholy God and you will find uh, your answers there. So I hope I helped you a bit with that and see you next patch. Cheers for, for listening and watching.